God. So anytime God wanted to speak to his people, he will speak through prophets. But when Jesus came, Jesus came to establish a personal relationship between us and God. So God is now relating with us individually. He's no longer relating with us as a body. So God now speaks to us in diverse ways. But still, that does not invalidate prophecy as a means through which God is speaking to people. There could be many ways to do a particular thing. It doesn't remove the other ways to do it. I don't know whether you are getting me. There could be many ways to carry out a particular task. In fact, there could be five ways. So the fact that there are five ways to carry out a particular task does not invalidate any of the five ways that you can carry out that task. Let me show you an example. For example now, if I want to move this chair, I can move it maybe in four ways. How? Number one, I can decide to drag the chair. Can someone say dragging? Can someone say dragging? Now, dragging the chair is a way of moving it. Am I communicating? I can decide to carry the chair. Can someone say carry? I can carry it on my shoulders, I can carry it on my head, I can carry it on my back and move the chair. Can somebody say carry? Carry. Now, the fact that I can carry the chair does not mean that I can still not drag the chair if I want to drag it. Amen. Are we paying attention to what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. I want to know whether you are following what I'm saying because you must get this thing. The fact that I can carry the chair, which may be the most convenient, does not change the fact that I can choose to drag the chair if I want to drag it. Amen. So, what am I trying to say here? God may have many ways of speaking to us. Dreams are one of them. Visions are one of them. Scriptures are one of them. Prophecy is one of them. Audible voice is one of them. Many, many ways that God can use to speak to us. So it doesn't change the fact that prophecy is still a way that God speaks to us. Are you getting me now? The fact that God speaks to you directly through an audible voice does not change the fact that God can still choose to speak through prophecy. I want us to get this straight so that you will not write prophecy off and say, you so testament, Gary, and now that we have the Holy Spirit in us, God can speak to us directly. We don't need prophets again. No, that's an error. You still need prophets. Amen. If we don't need prophets again, then the pro- office of the prophet would have ceased to exist. So since the prophet's office still exists, that means there's still a need for prophets today. Amen. Let me say that again so that it will enter. The fact that the office of the prophet still exists today is a proof that prophets are still needed. Amen. If there is no need for prophets again, then God will no longer be calling people into the prophetic ministry. So the fact that God is still calling people into the prophetic ministry is a proof that prophets are still needed in the body of Christ today. So don't let us make the mistake of saying that we don't need prophets again. We need them. 